hi guys welcome back to another sit down video i'm sure if you see me sitting down you know what type of video this is i already made like an introductory video about like these faith looks that i'm going to be doing once in a while I, I know i said weekly i know i said weekly but it's kind of tight in like anyways i finally have something to talk about and i just thought i'll you know come and share my thoughts you know anyways let's get right into this um video and i hope you enjoy like i thought i would kind of talk about like something that i myself have experienced or been experiencing for like a long time and the thing i want to talk about is fear i like to call it fear of the unknown because really it is fear of the unknown some of us myself inclusive i feel like we live in fear fear of the unknown you know and like it's not right as a christian really you shouldn't really live in fear because the lord says do not fear for i the lord am with you so i feel like if we're always living in fear it's like we're not believing in the word of god or we're not believing in god or we don't believe or have faith that you know through christ we can achieve certain things and you know if we have christ by our side we're unstoppable and you know som sometimes it's not even that you don't have faith sometimes it's really just like I don't know your fear overtakes your faith i would put it that way you know let's say for instance there's like an opportunity for you and you're like no i don't want to take it because i'm scared you know everyone is so good everyone is so experienced i'm doing it for the first time and i'm scared i won't be as good as everybody but like if only you just tried and you just had faith and you let that faith overcome your fear you know it's gonna take you so far in life because you're moving by faith you're not moving by fear but if you keep moving by fear you're missing out so many opportunities in life and you don't even realize it you know and that's the thing with fear you know it's we just see it as oh you know i'm scared i can't do that i'm scared i can't do that but i really don't realize having fear or living with fear it's it's very diminishing to your life to your purpose you know even to like your beliefs i would say because like if you're living in fear what you're doing is you're constantly pulling yourself down because you don't have faith and you can't believe you know and i feel like it's just something that's very bad and it's a very bad habit it's a very bad spirit i would like to call it a spirit because it's a bad spirit and it's the thing is if you're always living in fear it's like you constantly build that i cannot mentality in you and by doing that you become comfortable with living in that i cannot space you know people are trying out something new i can't do it me i can't i can't i can't you know and you become comfortable and the thing is if you're comfortable that's working towards the evil one's advantage because you know sometimes some people are lucky you know god shows them in their dreams through visions you know he speaks to them some are very lucky they know what god has planned for them you know you go to god god i've planned this i want to achieve this da, 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 da. god comes to you in your dream confirms it to you yeah my child this is what i want you to do he shows you the end goal and that's the thing i was watching a video about it god shows us he can show us the end goal but he won't show us how we're gonna get there because let's say you're comfortable right now you know you're, you have a good life good job everything's going well but god tells you you're gonna be a ceo of this company but to get there you have to lose this job that you have you have to lose everything what are you gonna say i'm i'm okay i'm okay right here where i am i'm comfortable everything's fine i'm not gonna lose my job everything's fine that ceo keep it i'm cool right here you know and so that's how some of us are we're living in this comfortable space why because we're scared of the future we're scared of what's to come what will be what if you know and you just don't know that only if you let go of that fear and let the faith become the driving force of your life you can achieve much more than what you have right now this comfortable life you know good pay whatever if you just let go of it let faith drive you and leave the fear behind you you can achieve so much more 
living in that comfortable space it it's really not going to take you anywhere because you're you're the constant level in your life again because you live in fear you know you just squeeze where you are you don't want to see what could be because you're scared of what if what if what if let me put it like this there's a mountain and at the mountain top god has placed your gift and he said this gift i have for you and it's for you only and you're at the bottom of the mountain you know flat surface and whatever everything's okay you have water you're just sitting down looking at the mountain top you have the trees around you the shade you know you're comfortable you know it's a good life down there but like god has shown you at the mountain top there's something for you there's a gift for you you know you don't know how you're going to get there cuz god has shown you the gift but he hasn't shown you how you're going to get there why because you know the god we serve really doesn't like people who are lazy because it's not like you're going to sit there and wait for god to bring that gift for you it's not going to happen what he wants you to do is to work towards getting that gift and throughout the process he's going to strengthen you and make you grow you know you're going to learn so much it's not he didn't say you're just going to walk or climb the mountain and you're going to get there get your gift and no you know there's a reason he wants you to get there because he wants to make you grow in your strength in your belief in your christianity in your faith and everything so let's say the gift is up there you're seated down at the surface you know everything is comfortable the shade the water you know and then you want to get there but you look up you're like mm, i'm scared it's too high you know and you're going to continue living in that i'm scared you look at it ah, i'm scared i'm scared by saying i'm scared i'm scared i'm scared you're making yourself comfortable with living in the i'm scared mentality you know the fear you're letting the fear overtake the faith let's say you get the courage let the faith start overtaking the fear and you're like you know what let me get up and let me start doing something to get to that gift that god has prepared for me you start climbing the mountain climb the mountain climb the mountain right when you're about to get there you sleep you go back down and you're like you see god this is the reason why i didn't even want to try because i knew i was going to fail i was scared this was going to happen and it happened and that's the thing in those moments really we shouldn't be scared or we shouldn't go back to god and say you see i told you i was scared of doing this why because i knew i was going to slip because sometimes you can let the faith start overtaking the fear but what god wants to do is god really wants to test you and he wants to test your faith to see if really you're actually growing or it's just you saying this yeah i'm letting the faith overtake the fear you can say something but to work towards that one thing is another thing so by god letting you sleep just right when you are about to get to the mountain top is him testing you him testing your faith to see how you're going to deal with these challenges that are going to come about so if you go to the mountain if you go down the mountain you sleep you know you're back to square one and you go with the god you see this is why i didn't want to try mentality really god won't do anything to help you because it's like you don't want to help yourself as well you know but if you're like you know what if i did it the first time and i got that far the second time I know what to do. I know what not to do. I know I won't touch this rock. I'll touch the other one and I won't sleep. And so if you keep on with that, it's like you're building your strength, you know, you're growing in your faith. And really that's how it is. It's not like you just wake up one day and you're like, "Yeah, the faith of took the fear." No, really it's a journey. And through that journey, you're going to face so many obstacles. That's the sleeping and going back to square one. But really what you should do is you shouldn't let that one mistake or that one challenge you know make the fear come again. What you should do is let the faith grow even stronger for you to push back and push back 10 times harder. You know? And if you begin to do this in life honestly you're going to see a change in your life because because you won't be afraid 
to do anything you won't be afraid to try out opportunities you won't be scared you're going to live by faith and by doing that you know it's like you become a threat to the evil one because now he has no advantage over you because you've gone from that person who was like i see what god wants for me but i'm scared of how i'm going to get there so you know what i'm just going to sit here and i'm going to stay in this comfortable space and you know the evil one's looking at you like yeah stay like that because as you're staying like this i know you're not going to achieve what god has done for you god wants to do for you i know you're not going to become that strong powerful person i'm scared of you becoming so i'm going to let you stay here stay in this comfortable space stay in this mentality but when he starts seeing that you're growing in your faith you're strengthening your faith and you want and you're working towards wanting to achieve that one goal despite the challenges and despite everything you become a threat to him because now he's seen that no matter what no matter the challenges come rain come sunshine you're working towards achieving that one thing and that's a threat to him because he's seeing that you're becoming this strengthened person this powerful person that god is building you to be so you can achieve that one thing he's planned for you so really all i'm trying to say is we live in fear and it's normal it's normal i'm not saying it's not normal to live in fear or if you live in fear there's something wrong with you no i myself honestly it's something i've really struggled with for a very long time i'm not saying i've stopped struggling with it but i'm working towards that one thing you know that's that's been my goal this year do not live in fear you know when you're scared when you feel so scared to do that one thing that's when you should do it because there's a reason you're scared you see it's big it's ambitious but just try it you know so all i'm saying is we really shouldn't live in fear we should work towards letting the faith overcome the fear and even if it doesn't go right you know it's like at least you tried you won't live in regret you'd be like god you know what i tried maybe the reason i sleep was because that one thing i was working towards wasn't meant for me i'll try something else you know and it's better you keep on trying and you keep failing and you try out something new to get to that one thing that you think oh you know what this is meant for me this is what i should be doing then you're just sitting staying stagnant in this comfortable space doing nothing going nowhere in life and letting the evil one take advantage of you because really you won't achieve anything by staying in the same position in life but if you keep trying you're working towards every time you try you're getting closer to that one thing that you're meant to be doing because at the end you're gonna realize that oh wait i think i've actually come to the place in life or the space in life or I found something that god actually wants me to be doing for myself so yeah i just hope this helped some of you because you know the reason i wanted to make this video is because if my mom didn't come to me that day and say wankumbu you really need to stop living in fear you know because god doesn't like it when we live in fear we shouldn't fear you shouldn't be fearful of anything you know because you know you have god by your side believe in him and believe that he's always by your side and yeah i just hope it helps you and you've learned one or two things from what i said and yeah thank you for watching this video thank you for coming all the way to the end of this video and i hope you liked it don't forget to subscribe and like subscribe especially anyways bye guys